Fucking crazy, man. You want a beer? No. Good, because I ain't fucking got none. Very funny. Maybe if being a drunkard doesn't work out, you can be a comedian. Fuck off. <laughs> and you, Kate, fuck off out of here. But aren't you going to introduce us? Sure. This is Nico, some drug dealing to fucking generate from some armpit in Eastern Europe. Nice to meet you. Hi. And this is my sister. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Likewise. What a girl. I think she likes you. Oh, there he is. <laughs> the sophisticated European. <laughs> I don't know about that. So, how are you? I guess. Hey! Don't stand there talking to him on the doorstep. Ask him in. Oh, come in. This is nice, isn't it? What's nice? Getting out, doing stuff, getting to know you. So you. So me what? So are you another one? Another what? Another one like my brother's, the tough guy with a death wish. A man eager to get into hell as soon as possible. Probably. How annoying! What is wrong with you people, you men? What's wrong with me? Quite a lot, I'm sure. Why don't you want to live? To live a normal life, I mean. Get married, have kids, not steal, rob, kill. It can't be easier than having a job, I mean. I don't know. I have lived a complicated life. I was in a war. Sounds like you still are. Maybe. Well, for a murdering, thieving idiot who can't talk about things, you're kind of nice. Thank you. Don't mention it. I was good once. I was a normal kid who got sucked into a war he didn't believe in. And forced to watch his friends die. Forced to do things he did not want to do in order to survive. I tried to make the right choices. To surround myself with good people rather than bad ones. Good people like you. I feel like I want to get to know you properly. I have tied up a lot of loose ends in this city recently. I feel like it's time to move on. Start living my life right. But you're a tough guy with a death wish. A thieving, murdering, drug-dealing idiot. Do you think you can just walk away from all that? I can try. Good luck, Nico. I really hope you can walk away. But do you think the men you've dealt with will just let you leave and walk into the sunset? They will have to. I thought that when you do the work that you do, that people get their hooks into you, and then there's no way out. I've had some trouble telling right and wrong apart before. After the war, I was involved in a life I felt was not from me. If I can get pulled into this world, I can pull myself out. My past does not haunt me in the way that it used to. I've tried to separate myself from it. And I'm ready to try to be good. Are you? Are you prepared to say goodbye to the fast cars, the drugs, the violins, the cheap women? Yes, I am. It would be easier to be happy if I was with the right person, though. How do I know that you're right for me? How do I know that I won't get hurt? I'll look after you, Kate. I promise I'll protect you. There's nothing else I can say. You don't need to say anything else. I'm willing to take a chance on you. Willing to take a chance on the possibility that you can walk away from the craziness. That there is a real human being under all that hardness. The rational half of me says, get away from him, protect yourself. But the other half says, he's good, he can be redeemed. Hey, Kate, are you coming to Roman's wedding? Can you pick me up and take me there? I'll be at my ma's.